and Gabon has been an excellent way to do that. As you may know, Gabon is predominantly forest. 80% of Gabon is rainforest. It's home to incredible species of plant and animal life. Deep inside this rainforest, there is a place called the Industrial Corridor. This is where logging and, and, and oil producing takes place. And it's important that this, this corridor work compatibly with the entire industrial development, which sounds like a contradiction. How in a lush rainforest can you both do forestry and oil extraction and protect the biodiversity of the area? This is where the Smithsonian comes in. This is where the Smithsonian and its expertise is able to describe what it is that is important to protect. And so there are some, what may appear in some respects to be simple, but in an operating context, they are not simple. But how, for example, do you narrow the roadways to only that exact amount of space that you must use in order to transport whatever you need to transport so that animal migration, animal movement can continue as it has through the millennia in the rainforest in which the footprint is, is greatly reduced. How do you protect the flora and the fauna and the, and the plant and the wildlife from the encroachment of human beings not from the area? So we've set up protocols and rules where shell staff who work in the area are limited to their compound. They really cannot wander. They cannot go off and explore. They are limited to the area that is defined as that living area so as to protect the balance. When visitors come, visitors are first of all screened to make sure that they are not bringing something into the environment which is not natural to the environment. And so whether they're coming from South America, from Europe, from Asia, from the North America, they are not allowed into the area with anything that would be considered detrimental in terms of, of introducing, for example, if somebody's moving to Gabon, frankly, you're not, don't bring your plants from North America. If you're moving to Gabon, don't bring your cleaning detergents from Northern Europe. These are practical protocols which prevent the introduction into the community of things that are not welcome or not part of it. And so these kind of simple rules, uh, which on the face of it seem simple, but they are so unnatural to the way in which we have historically done business that it's about teaching people to value what they are coming into. And so the training and education of people. When it comes to best practices, how do you exp expand the best practice routines and behaviors and policies to the indigenous people who are used to a different way of life, who now with new jobs, with new income, would like the, 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 the advantages of modernization. And so trying to find ways in which that can be compatible with the environment is also part of what we're working on. So we've learned from a few mistakes. We, for example, had to deal with fire ants from Brazil in Gabon and trying to find natural ways in which to eradicate the fire ants from Brazil without other, doing other damage to the environment has been an, a, a, an exercise in learning. Some partnerships and some perceptions of the community. Some parts of the community would like to see wealth creation, material accumulation, the kinds of things that you would expect. How to keep that compatible, as I just said, in the community is very important. So what you end up with is a lot of dialogue, a lot of discussion, a lot of debate. Some say it may slow down business. Well, I think it's important in this day and age of the license of the extraction industries to continue to operate in such a way that we can achieve our sustainable development objective, which is to enable the Earth to continue to enjoy in future generations what future generations are entitled to enjoy in terms of natural well-being and natural endowment is that you must make some choices about how you do business. And so while business is in part about making money, business is also in part about sustaining 
the ability of future generations to operate in the ways in which they should be able to choose to operate, not based upon how we have decided they will operate in the future. And so preserving and protecting the environment in which we operate is our view, one of the best ways to do that. The Smithsonian has taught us a lot in ways in which we can value and see things that we didn't previously see. And we could go into much more detail about the fact that we have actually discovered new species and continue to discover new species of flora, fauna, and wildlife in the, at the same time, developing the oil fields of Gabon. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.